Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to do a painting which is a bit of a um, an honouring of Anne-Marie Ritterhoff um, and a bit of something that's kind of been playing on my mind for quite a while now. Um, Anne-Marie, when I first started doing fluid art, um, talked about needing to get your paints to the runny honey texture, runniness, whatever you want to call it. And that was always something that I struggled with, having grown up on, with a father that kept hives, and depending on how warm it was, depend on how runny this honey was. So, um, anyway... So what my target is today, I've got this, um, this is a honey dripper and you will dip that into runny honey and then drizzle it over your um, toast or whatever you're using it for. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to create something, hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> uh, so... My idea is, as you can see, is to have this with paint on sat here and then um, to have the paint pooling off and running. That's the idea. That's, <laughs> as any of you know, um, when it comes to fluid art, it really is random possibilities so what I've got is I've got a bit of blue tack in the on the bottom here and I'm just gonna oops throw my cup around just blue tack that to the bottom of this shot glass so that is standing up step one I've got another piece of blue tack there which you saw was where my the, the ball of the honey dripper sits now Obviously, if I want that to be on here permanently, it's going to need to somehow be attached. And my idea is to have this blue tack here, and then once um, the paint has dried, remove the blue tack and replace it with hot glue. That's the idea. So I actually require to keep that off there so that I'm not... Does that make, oh yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. So first of all, I'm going to put a coat of white over the uh, the whole piece, um, preferably without spilling it too much. Um, and why am I doing that? Because I don't, want my painting the background it's it's not going to be completely covered in color so I don't want it to be just a raw canvas obviously it's not raw it's gesso to, but um, I'd like there to be a layer of paint on the painting on the canvas I'm just gonna Invite it to cover the whole piece. Just like that. There we go. And check the sides. And drop it back down onto our tins. Okay. Ah, uh, no. That was not the intention. The intention was to keep the handle of that clean okay so as you can see we've still got that dollop of blue tack let me know in the comments what you call it in your country what is it called in your country poster putty blue tack let me know anyway so we've got that part going 
next is to put some colour onto this, into this. And I just want to get, I'm just going to make sure that that white bit is facing down when I place it. Ah, crikey. Alright. So my idea here, <coughs> let me come in. My idea is to pour paint down the sides until it's covering the whole of this and then lift it out and pop it down. <laughs> and everywhere I don't believe I can pull this off and actually have it look good, I just draw and uncreate that. So I've got my colours, I've got Viridian Hue, Crimson Red, Ultramarine Blue, medium yellow and vermilion orange and I'm just going to start from the green and work round and just pour pour some paint in none of these have got silicon in them they're just just the color well they're not just the color because of course just like I do with all my um, paints they've been mixed with flow troll and water and now I'm realizing I might have to go around a second time because I have not put enough paint in which kind of ruins my original plan but that's okay we have no idea what's going to come out of this ah. <laughs> that was not planned either and one last color the orange okay so let's make sure my fingers are clean and zoom you back out so that you can see this whole process and you can see there that a hey, I've got blue but we've got different layers of color whatever that was <sighs> and I'm getting paint all over the stick here it's not my target at all so ready and go oh that's interesting As I said, I have no idea <laughs> what's going to happen. None whatsoever. Um, and what I'd like to do is get this bit of blue tack off the bottom of here. So that that can be covered. All right. Now, maybe I should have put silicon in this. This isn't really working out as I had planned, so I'm going to change it because I'm good like that. 
um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of silicon. This is dimethicone, comes in the form of Durex Play, and I'm just going to pop that onto there, and then. I'm going to <clears throat> um, okay. I'm gonna lift that up and put ek come back here so I've just put one of the peanut butter jar lids on top of my tins that are under there so that it's now on a on a slant and let's have a bit of a really not quite coming out the way I had imagined I must say it's a lot greener Okay, I'm seeing some air bubbles, so I'm just going to torch and also see if any of that silicon rather cold in here and I'm wondering if as I mentioned earlier the uh, temperature is decreasing the, the flowability of our paint I'm staying really well away from the paint with the torch in order to just warm the air around it rather than cook the paint. Okay. 
it's definitely different and it's definitely colourful. It's probably not a colour that I would be. But then you know me. The only way I like yellow is on roses. <laughs> um, you know what I'm really noticing is how quickly that viridian hue has changed to more of a grass green by adding more yellow always fascinates me how the colors interact so I'm just gonna leave this I'm gonna make sure I lay it down flat before it goes off any edges I don't want it flooding off the edges but I do want it to go a little bit more In that direction so let me zoom back out again so I'm just gonna leave it let it do its funky thing oh, this part I'm kind of itching to flick a little bit of silicon at it because I can see lots of blue under here and um oh, should I shouldn't I should I shouldn't I just rubbing can you see I've got a little bit on there Just the tiniest bit. And it will do what it will do. As you can see, there's more. <laughs> anyway, you can see a dimple is where the silicon hit. It's not actually doing a lot to, to this paint. But, well, it is actually it's starting to... Okay, I'm actually getting to the point where I'm feeling like it's almost ready to be put flat. Yep. Just leave it like that. <laughs> now, how will it dry? That's what I'm excited about. And will I be able to get the <laughs> blue tack out and the glue in? Oh, and I will, once it's completely dry, get the sandpaper out and just get rid of these chunky bits. But... hasn't quite come out how I had imagined but it's definitely doing interesting things so let's give it a few days to dry because that's how long it's taking to dry at the moment and um, we'll come back and check on that now I'm just having a quick look inside here there's still some paint left and um, I'm gonna do, 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 do. I'm gonna play. <laughs> you know me, I like to play. Zoom in.
Okay. So. the games. <laughs> Let the games begin. What shall we sing? Are you ready to perceive, no be and receive? What before you could not. Ooh, airplane. Okay, so I've got my cabochon stuck to my blue tag, stuck to my stick, all polished up and clean, and I'm going in. Now, you guys know that I've buried a lot of colour under there. Look at that. So we're going to slowly uncover it. We've got nice and subtle. Oh, sorry. You went very. I'm quite liking this over here as well. So let's grab that too. quite funky on the underside ah! Donk. Okay. I dropped it which meant the underside got all smeared but I think the top is actually still looking okay so just re-dipped it in a bit more paint and we'll see what happens. Kind of regretting putting that vermilion orange in that mix sort of taken over a bit which annoys me but that's okay all right I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna well <laughs> I always say that, don't I? I'm going to do one more. And then what's left behind after doing that one more is like, oh, I'm going to get that too. Totally missed. Not that excited about that one. Just one more. Oh, now see that one's nice I like that one so pretty and what's left behind
it's actually no silicon in this which is why we're not getting much cells I'm gonna leave it at that so my dears we have a few cabochons and we have a honey pour honey dripper pour <laughs> uh, dear me I must say although I'm not very hugely fussed about this bit over here let me zoom you in and show you what's going on down in here look at that that is super cool I like that so we will see how this dries who knows who knows <laughs> All right, guys, I will be back in three, two, one. Well, it's dry. We've had a uh, a bug dive bomb. <laughs> but there's just a little fluffy bug in the white, so that's no problem. Um, and it's dried. It looks cool. It looks like a puddle of paint coming <laughs> off a honey stick. So there you go. If anybody wants a symbol of acrylic pouring and how thick your paint's supposed to be and all that stuff, that's, there it is. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? Um. I'm not overly fussed by the way that the colours merged. I'm not overly fussed by the overall colour combos. Like, if it was anything but a, a what's the word, um, homage to acrylic pouring, I probably wouldn't like it. But because that is what it is, I'm super happy with it. Really pleased. Um, I do still need to remove the blue tack and replace that, but really, I'm really pleased with this. So that's cool. Let me know in the comments what you think of it, whether you think it was a waste of my time or whether it was a fun thing to do. Now let's have a look at our cabochons. Let's have a look. This one I really like. It looks like a little birdie. Look at that. It's a bird or an eye or an anteater. Where's that got Um doesn't quite look like a kiwi in any direction, but that's okay. It's the wrong colour for a kiwi anyway. But to me, right there like that, it looks like a little birdie. It's so cute. All right, let's have a look at the next one. Do, 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 do. Now this one is... This one actually does look more like a kiwi. You kind of got the big fat bird there with the little head and the long beak. That's sort of vaguely like a kiwi, but not really. I'm not... This one's sort of pretty, but doesn't really say anything. Doesn't really depict anything. Let me know in the comments if you see something that's cool in that one. Moving right along. Let's see what the next one is. Randomly picking them up. Now this is the one that I kind of had to double dip almost. And so you've got that line across there. But it's quite funky. I like the combination of the colours. Almost looks like a, um, a peacock's tail with the peacock bird here. Just don't have any feet on it. And last but not least, let's bring it down. This one is funky. Oh, I've got the light reflecting in it, sorry. There we go. I like this one. Again, it doesn't really say anything. Um, a lady in a long dress with a bonnet on, maybe, but really, 
I can't see anything in it. Let me know if you do, because I'd love to. If you're referring to the cabochons, call them one, two, three, and four, and that way I'll know which one you're talking about. Um, yeah, so there we go, guys. We've got four cabochons and um, and a funky little painting. I'm glad I did it. And please let me know how you would, if you were doing a painting with this as a prop, what would you choose? How would you do it? Would you do just pour individual colours on it? Would you do a cup like I did and dip it in it? Would, would you dip it in it rather than having it in it and pouring the paint in? Would you use different colours? What would you do different? <laughs> and as I said, if anyone wants to own it, let me know. Anyway, I've had lots of fun tutoring with this. And uh, talking of lots of fun, who wants to come play with me on a live? Yes, I'm going live this weekend sometime. So, to find out when, sign up on mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up. And you'll get 24 hours notice. Obviously, if you take too long to sign up, and I've already sent the email out, you miss out. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but other than that, how much fun can you have? And if you're having fun or wanting to play with people that are having fun with acrylic pouring, come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Um, there's lots of lovely people in there. Uh, lots of diverse points of view and um, but everybody's sharing what they've been creating from brand new people all the way through to people I've got people like Gina DeLuca and all sorts of people in that group so so grateful for all of you that are in that group and I look forward to playing with you some more in another video see you super soon bye bye